Building Scene Layer is a powerful layer type of the 3D JavaScript API. It allows us to visu visualize detailed designs for construction of new buildings coming from BIM data. This is an example showing the new building E that's currently being constructed on the Esri campus in Redlands. With such comprehensive and detailed building models, using filters is key to interact with the data. This is why you can filter by floors, or really any attribute in your data. For example, to show only doors or stairs. As you can see in the code, we're setting two filter blocks. The second one uses a new feature, the X-ray mode, which is being released with the upcoming JavaScript API release. Visualizing BIM data in the browser is crucial for many planning and construction workflows. However, the JavaScript API also provides several interactive widgets. In the last December release, we added two new ones, a daylight tool and a line of sight tool. I'm going to use the line of sight tool to analyze the visual impact of the new building on one of my favorite walking paths on the campus. By interactively placing an observer and multiple targets on the surrounding hills, I can see that some of the mountain views are now obstructed by the new building, while others are still visible. So far, we only looked at proposed designs and plans. However, construction has already started. Let's take a look at how that's progressing. In order to monitor the construction progress, we use drones to collect 3D imagery of the construction site on a regular basis. I can use the JavaScript API to visualize this imagery using 3D mesh layers. Integrated mesh layers also work well with other 3D layer types. If I re-enable the previous building scene layer, I can directly compare it to the construction progress. Integrated mesh layers, however, also work well with other 2D layer types. Starting with the next release of the JavaScript API, you'll be able to drape point, line, and polygon features directly onto the integrated mesh as if it was the ground. For example, I can add these feature layer uh, with polygons to visualize different allocation areas directly on the construction site. They're visualized using a label and a status where red means requires review. Showing features on top of an integrated mesh is a great way to convey additional information with your 3D geometry. However, what if I want to update these polygons? Starting with the next release of the JavaScript API, I'm very happy to introduce feature layer editing support in 3D. This means I can now add the editor widget to my app and configure it with the layer we've just seen. By selecting any of the polygons, I'm provided with interactive handles to move or reshape the polygon. For example, I can match it with existing 3D objects on the integrated mesh. I can also use the editor widget to change the attributes. Let's change the status for this polygon from needs review to current. Once I save the edits, the updated polygon gets persisted directly in the feature service. Feature layer editing in 3D, however, is not just about features on the ground. Construction is progressing and we no longer need this area with excavated material. I will therefore resize the construction site perimeter. Using 3D lines and set to where 
editing tools, I will create a new construction site perimeter wall. Laser lines being projected onto the surrounding objects help me find the perfect height for each vertex. This is just an example of how you can use the new editing capabilities for professional workflows in your own app. We've seen a few of the new features of the JavaScript API. I would like to show you now a few examples of how far you can take the API to create data visualizations. Besides creating realistic scenes, we can also use the JavaScript API to create cartographic or even artistic 3D visualizations. Take, for example, these 3D buildings showing San Francisco. By applying sketched edge rendering and removing the base map and the atmosphere in favor of a parchment background, I can create a hand-drawn version of the city skyline. What looks like a static image is still an interactive web scene that I can rotate and pan to explore. This example shows earthquakes that occurred in 2019 with a magnitude higher than 4.5. Their depth is exaggerated times six, allowing us to get a better overview of regions where earthquakes occurred at a greater depth. Last year, we also introduced a time slider, and I would like to let it run to give us a time lapse of how the earthquakes occurred in 2019. The next example could serve as a web-based map for skiers who want to hit the slope in Mammoth a ski resort just a few hours north from here. Starting with a web scene with Esri-provided elevation data and feature layers for the slopes and ski lifts, I applied custom symbology and used the mesh geometry class to create artistic 3D shapes of the terrain and the letters. The numerous lakes in the area are visualized using the new animated water symbol. The ski lifts are shown slightly elevated using new path symbology. As you can imagine, using web-based technology leaves a lot of room for your creativity.